Hello there. Today we'll be exploring what is Apache Superset? Why would you want to use it? How does it compare to some of the other solutions on the market? And how to get started. So what is Apache Superset? Going to the uh, Apache Superset site, you'll find that they describe themselves as a modern data exploration and visualization platform. Somebody else might call it an open source BI tool. BI coming from business intelligence. Um, from my perspective, how it differs from many of the other competitors is that, again, it's open source. So you can set it up on your own server, your own machine, and start using it for free. Um, the other important difference from my perspective is that uh, you need to have some understanding of the SQL or structured query language, um, scripting language, so that you can actually um, make use of Superset. Why is that? Because um, how Superset works is that you start by writing a SQL query, which then you can turn into a, um, into a chart, as they call it, and then you can compose a dashboard out of many charts. So either you or somebody else, let's say in your team, in your organization, will need to be able to use the SQL lab to create these uh, data sets, which then are used to drive the charts. And this is a major difference from tools like Tableau, where the idea is that you can construct data visualization from um, a variety of data sources without knowledge of SQL. So where something like Superset has you write SQL explicitly, and for those who know how to use SQL, that's not a problem, but for those who don't, it can be a barrier to entry. So what Tableau does is that they have a separate user interface to drag and drop uh, dimensions, filters, and metrics uh, into a visualization or a dashboard. And uh, then Tableau creates the SQL query for you. So that's kind of handy. But again, uh, I would say that's a major uh, differentiator between Tableau and, and Superset. But for, again, those people who actually know how to use SQL, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, but, you know, if you're considering using Superset in your organization, that's a major consideration comparing to some of the other products in that the people who create new um, data sets to drive new uh, visualizations, new charts, will, will need to know how to use SQL. So that's, that's something to keep in mind. On the flip side, though, um, something like Tableau can cost a lot of money. So actually, I haven't checked out the pricing in a while. So let's check it out. So, you know, for teams and organizations, you'd be looking at uh, Tableau creator licenses for everybody who is creating new visualizations and for the people who want to interact with um, those dashboards created by the Tableau creators, you'd need a Tableau Explorer license. And then for the rest of the organization, you'd need uh, Tableau viewer licenses. And of course, if you think about, let's say your organization has 100 people, then when you have these licenses being billed per user per month um, and annually, especially for a small startup, a nonprofit, um, or some other kind of less well-funded organization compared to, a, let's say, a Fortune 500, um, this can really be a problem. So for that reason, Superset is a great place to start if you have the people in the organization who can drive the creation of these uh, uh, SQL-based data sets that other people can then modify uh, in the charts view. So basically, when you have the data set created, you do have this um, much more simple um, kind of form-based approach to creating these visualizations. Now, again, it's nothing as refined as something like uh, Tableau or uh, Power BI or uh, ClickSense, but again, all of these other uh, solutions cost money. 
Some are cheaper, like Power BI. Some are more expensive, like Tableau and ClickSense. But again, they they uh, they have the, the more refined tools for creating these visualizations. So it's a trade-off you need to make. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now there there are of course other competitors to Superset which are free or um, licensed in a way where you don't have to pay as much. So one uh, kind of very nice looking solution is Metabase. I actually haven't used it personally in production, so I cannot give you a, a long-term overview of how well it works, but I'm certainly interested in exploring it further. So let me know in the comments below if you wanna learn more about Metabase via these videos. But basically, my understanding of Metabase is that if you're willing to manage the solution yourself, there is the open source version, which is free. Um, and then there's no support for that, which is natural for open source products. Or then there's the enterprise, which has these uh, more advanced functionalities. And then that's 15K a year, which, you know, again, it's a lot of money. But when you compare it to something like Tableau and Click, actually might not be, uh, you know, very different from that it might be cheaper, uh, again, depending on your situation. Um, and then they have the cloud version where it's priced kind of like a typical SaaS. So here you have uh, uh, $85 a month, including five users and then $5 per user per month uh, for incremental additional users. And then there's like increasing pricing here. One interesting thing to note here is that uh, the $15 per user per month is already uh, more expensive than Microsoft Power BI. So if you're starting to pay for the BI solutions, uh, the Power BI Pro is only $10 a month. So then you'll want to start thinking about, okay, how, how about Power BI? And then um, again, remembering that the Tableau Viewer license is $12. So again, if most of your people are just viewing the dashboards, well, maybe if you're looking at the growth edition of, of Metabase Cloud, actually want to think about uh, Tableau Viewer as well. Now, oftentimes uh, when you're buying, for example, Tableau for your organization, you are actually negotiating some kind of a, a package with Tableau if, if you have a bigger organization. So uh, then, you know, they might ask you to have a certain amount of Tableau Creator and uh, Explorer licenses so that you might have like, let's say 10 of each of these and then 80 of the viewers. So, you know, it you want to do the math basically like how many licenses you actually need versus what you're being given in the package deal and whether it makes sense for you in economic terms.